First thing I want to say before we get started with this teaser trailer reaction. Blumhouse, it was fucked up of you to post this while I went to bed. I went through, this is one of my most anticipated movies. Five Nights at Freddy's dropped a teaser trailer. Dude, I almost woke up immediately the second I even opened my eyes and saw the notification. My eyes were just like, boom, and then they went slowly back down. Look at, look at my eyes right now. Yeah. Some would say I probably should wait till I wake up a little more to react to this, but uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, the movie, has been one of my most anticipated movies. I love films that take place in kind of like these theme park arcade places, and I played the Five Nights at Freddy's game. I even have gameplays on my channel somewhere, so um, I think I'll actually re-upload those to my, second gaming, my, my secondary channel, my gaming channel, so if you guys are really into gaming stuff, definitely go check out my second channel. We're gonna go ahead and dive into the trailer. It's a teaser, so I'm not really expecting a whole lot. I'm just excited that they dropped something because I wanted to get an overall feel of what we're gonna be getting as a movie in, in, uh, on the entirety. So, uh, fuck if you post it while I was asleep, Blumhouse, but guess what? I'm still not mad at you. I'm still proud of you, and I'm still happy. I'm excited to jump on into this. The fact that I was asleep when it dropped uh, bums me out completely. I do this every once in a while, man. Yeah, let's go ahead and dive into the trailer. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where fantasy oh, I and love fun come to life. Oh, <laughs> yes! If you're watching this video... There he is, boy! ...you've been selected as Freddy's newest security guard. Dude! Hello? We're going to have so much fun together. Yeah, I bet we are, baby. Dude! Yes! Yes! Oh, oh, I'm gonna go back to a few parts of that trailer. Some things I might have missed because of my excitement right there, but I I, I almost just immediately woke like my I just woke up a little bit more. Freddy's newest security guard. Love the feel of it. Hello? It looks exactly like the video games. Like this is like these feel like shots you would see from the game itself. You know, I just realized that one of the things I do not love about horror films entirely are jump scares. Like jump scares, they work sometimes, especially when they're done uniquely. This movie is going to, it's going to have to have a lot of jump scares because the games themselves pretty much rely mostly on jump scares. Not saying it's not, you know, suspenseful or anything like that. It is suspenseful, but one of the things that it does to scare you is jump scare, right? I mean, you don't know, like when you realize that you've lost and then that Freddy Fazbear just jumps out in front of the screen and comes at you. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be all jump scare. And I'm okay with that with this movie because it's something I would expect from a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. It's just have fun doing it. That's what I want to see. If you're going to do jump scares, have fun do it. Don't don't just throw something at me just to throw something at me. Actually build it up and make it freaky. We're going to have so much fun. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We're I just missed that. Ah, oh, there, yeah, there's uh, Freddy standing right behind him. Okay, I just saw that. We're going to have so much fun together. There he is. There he is. I was looking for him. Matthew Lillard as the boss guy. Hell yeah, man. You get Matthew Lillard in anything, and I'm going to be all over that shit. Perfect casting for the boss, dude. That is... That was genius cast. I think they realized everybody wanted to see Matthew Lillard in horror again. It's a wasted opportunity if you do not get this guy in any more horror films while he's still around. I'm not saying he's like old as shit, but I'm just saying like, dude, this guy is A-class material. Fucking get him in more movies. I'm happy to see that. And Josh, uh, Josh Hutcherson, I think is his name. <laughs> Love how they look. I mean, they are exactly like the video game, but like, I love how they look in live action movie quality stuff, dude. That is so cool looking. I mean, there's going to be so many Five Nights at Freddy's costumes. I can't wait to see the toys and everything. Blumhouse, I know you do it every once in a while. Send me a giant box of the Five Nights at Freddy's stuff when you do, because I know you send them to like giant movie fans and everything. Send me one. I, I slept through your teaser trailer. You just at least you owe me. <laughs> like, it's at least you owe me like it's your fault that I slept, but uh... Dude, this guy, guys, this looks great. Blumhouse, this looks fucking fantastic, man. I'm so excited. Yeah. October 27th, perfect Halloween time movie, especially with the fact that Blumhouse, you know, was delivering on all the Halloween movies like Michael Myers and stuff for the past couple years now. This is a good follow-up, I think, to the Halloween franchise, so that's dope. Ugh. Sorry about that, guys. I know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit tired. I get it. This is, I, I'm very excited to see this. It looks actually so cool. 
Comment down below, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of trailer reactions. I do a lot of reactions to stuff like this. Paranormal investigations, horror films, anything along those lines. So excited to see it. I want to see a full-length trailer now. Damn it, you did such a good job, Blumhouse. All right, I'll check you guys out later. Keep it retro, and do take care.